my friends, I'm Jess. Welcome to the new and improved Hex Library. And today we'll be doing my TBR for the month of July. If you have been around for a while, you may know that I haven't had bookshelves in five ever, but I have them now. Will I be doing some kind of a bookshelf tour in the future? Yes. Will it be anytime soon? Probs not. Mostly because I'm still getting used to them, still moving things around, making sure I like where things are. Also, I have about a five foot stretch that is completely empty because I don't have enough books to fill it. Uh, I definitely do. I just need to figure out some configurations. Okay. Uh, so right now we're just working with what we got and we're going to do my TBR for the month. I don't typically do TBRs but I am doing a couple of readathons this month that I want to talk about, so I figured we might as well. Some new releases that I want to get to this month are The Only One Left by Riley Sager and Thicker Than Water by Megan Collins. Riley Sager, everybody knows who that is at this point. Most of his books I've enjoyed. There's been a couple that I haven't really liked, so it's with him it's a kind of a coin toss, but I'm interested to see if I like this new one. I honestly don't know what it's about. I haven't even looked. Um, and haven't really been paying much attention when people have been talking about it. So, and Thicker Than Water by Megan Collins. I also don't know what it's about. I try to go into uh, my mystery thriller books with as little knowledge as possible. I read from Megan previously. I read, I love it, they're all right here. <laughs> so it's, it's like a whole new thing for us. I read The Winter's Sister by Megan Collins previously and I enjoyed it so I wanted to pick up her new book as well. And then you just slide it back on the shelf. They're, they're all right here, man. God, love it. I don't have to like go, oh my gosh, my books are all in the other room and they've been in there for nine months. Oh, I love it. Love it. I also have some arcs that I need to catch up on. Um, the first of which is actually the only one that I'm behind on currently is A Frugal Wizard's Guide to Medieval England, which is the newest book by Brandon Sanderson. Somehow I got an arc of that. Don't know what I did, how I did it, who I did it for. Um, but somehow I got an arc of that. I know it is technically out already. It came out on the 27th of June, but I got it like on the 25th of June. Uh, so I haven't had a chance to read it yet, but I do plan to start that this weekend. Um, it's going to be one of the first things I read this month. Also releasing in July, so I want to get to them soon, are Dead of Winter by Darcy Coates. If you know, I'm a Darcy Coates girly. Um, I have a whole stack of her books right here. You can't see them because they're out of frame, but they're right here. The whole stack. And they're right there and I can see them. It's fantastic. Uh, and also coming out in July is Haru Zombie Dog Hero by Ellen O, oh, who I have read from previously, her Spirit Hunters duology, um, and also really loved. So I wanted to pick up her new book as well, and I got the arc of that. Uh, Haru Zombie Dog Hero follows a boy and his dog, and I don't remember exactly what happens, but essentially his dog is taken by the state. I don't know if he attacks somebody or what happens, but his dog is taken, and rather than euthanizing him, they send him to this laboratory where they do this experiment on him that basically turns him into a zombie. And there's some kind of like a zombie apocalypse happening where people are also turning into zombies, and so this little boy and his zombie dog have to save the planet. Sounds interesting. Also sounds sad. Will I cry? Probably, but you know, it's fine. When I read that one, I will let you know if the dog technically dies or not. Actually dies or not. Because technically a zombie dog is a dead dog, but you know what I mean. I'll let you know. I will be doing a month long readathon this month and that is the mid-year reading scramble that's being hosted by Margaret at The Word Nerd and I will link her announcement video down below. Um, today's the first of the month so there's still plenty of time to go and check it out and join in. I did talk about it a little bit in my planner video as well if you watch that because I do have a layout for that in my planner. But essentially there's three boards. You can either choose the physical TBR, your Goodreads goal, or a currently reading board. And in that board you kind of like, you know how you had those like choose your path things where you know you have like read a book with the color blue and then you read a book with the color blue and then you have two choices. Read a orange book or read a book with dog in the title. You pick one of those two and then whichever one you pick splits into two more things and then whichever one of those splits into two more things. It's like that. My goal, because technically if you read from the top and read down it's only four books, my goal is to actually read one path for each of the boards. Will that happen? 
I don't know. Um, I have a lot going on this month. I have some big goals. I have a really fun 10k weekend planned with Anne and there's, there's a lot of things going on writing wise. Am I going to be able to read this much? I don't know but lofty goals my friends. So far I know that the first board I'm going to do is the physical TBR board and so the first book on that is the shortest book off of your physical TBR shelves and for me that is Creepover Off the Wall which is book 14. Hilariously it is actually the next one in the series. I wasn't sure if I was going to get this one or one of the next few uh, but either way it doesn't really matter because they are not sequential. They are just different stories all in one series. These are basically all scary stories for mid-grade that revolve around some kind of a sleepover, hence the term creepover. Some of these I've given two stars, some I've given five. Typically it has a creepometer on the back and typically the more creepy it is the better I like it and this is a four creepy so hopefully it's a four star. I've also already picked my second book so after I read that one when it splits I'm going to pick for an event which is basically like a book club book or um, something of that sort and I will be reading Heartstopper Volume 1 by Alice Oseman because this is our author tube chat book club book for the month so I want to get that done and out of the way as well. After that I don't really know what I'm going to be reading because I'm going to be doing another readathon in that as well um, so it's just going to be like a in the moment what am I going to pick but those are the two that I know for sure that I'm going to be reading. The other readathon that I'm doing is the summer ween readathon that is taking place on Instagram so there's like Instagram picture challenges to go with it as well. It is running from the 7th to the 13th and I'll link the summer ween IG down below if you want to look at that. Um, so far the only prompt that I have filled out a book for is the first prompt and that is read a book in the dark and because I'm reading it in the dark I wanted to pick a book that I have like an e-copy of or an audiobook of so I don't have to actually look at a page in the dark uh, and for that I went with The Secrets Within by Phoebe Rivers. This is book seven in the Sarah Normal series so it is short. It is a spooky mid-grade that follows Sarah who can see ghosts and I have this on um ebook as well. I can get the ebook from the library. There are a few other prompts for Summerween which are read a thriller, read a book that takes place in the fall, read a book with orange or black on the cover, and read a novella. I'm not sure what I'm going to be reading for those again because I'm going to be reading those while also doing other readathons so who knows. Um, but if you do know a book that takes place in the fall, if you know a book that's super fall vibes, leave it for me in the comments below because I am struggling to find a book that takes place in the fall because without having read it a lot of times you don't know if it takes place in the fall so if you know one that's spooky that you think I might like let me know. I do have a couple of other books that I want to get to this month. One of those is The Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab. I read the second book this month we'll be talking about that in the wrap up but I read that and it kind of ends on a cliffhanger so I want to get to book three this month. Speaking of wanting to finish series or work on series rather I also would like to read The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson because I finished the first book last month. I didn't read a Brandon Sanderson this month in June. This is the first month of the year that I haven't read a Brandon Sanderson so does that mean I have to read two in July? I don't know I read three in like February so who knows but um, I definitely want to get to book two this month. One of my group books that I want to get to is Wrong Place, Wrong Time um, by, I don't remember but the book cover is on the screen. I think that is considered an orange enough of a cover for me to use it for a summer ween so I think that's when I'm going to read it um, but I believe that is the book for Beautifully Bookish Bethany's Patreon book club this month um, so I definitely want to get to that. I know that it follows a mother who's son committed a murder and she's like not sure why he did what he did and when she goes to sleep she wakes up the next day but it's actually the day before and it's like every time she goes to sleep she actually goes back in time and further and further back in time to figure out why he did what he did so I'm very interested to see what that's all about. And then my local bookstore is a book club, uh, Wheatberry Books. The book that we're reading for July is The Memory Police. We're reading translated fiction this year. Um, I didn't make it to the book club meeting this week so I haven't picked up my copy yet so I have no idea what it's about but I know that it is translated fiction. That's about all I've got. So I guess we can say this is the start of my TBR for July. I'll also be adding in a book for, to this for my TBR jar but we won't find that out until my TBR takedown video. It's, it's a beginning. It's a chunky beginning. I mean honestly. She a chunky beginning. 
these five plus about 12 other books. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. 12 other, probably more like 15 other books. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Will any of these happen? I don't know. If you made it this far in the video or are not feeling particularly chatty, leave me a pumpkin emoji in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to let me know if you know a fall book that's a spooky book, because I need that. I need your help. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!